Director Peter Himes brought us this thrilling sci-fi action film in September of 1994, based on a story from Dark Horse Comics by Mike Richardson and Mark Verheeden. This is one of those rare and wonderful movies where the entire concept is laid out right in the title. Time Cop. Indeed, Jean-Claude Van Damme stars as a time-traveling police officer in the futuristic year of 2004, who was sent back a decade to prevent his wife's death and to stop Ron Silver from meddling with the timeline for his own personal gain. Van Damme remarks on this aggravating predicament, If I can't go back to save her, this scumbag is not going back to steal money. Despite its rather ambitious premise, this 98-minute feature remains JCVD's highest-grossing film as a lead actor, earning over $100 million against its $27 million budget. Eventually, it spawned a nine-episode TV series, a Super Nintendo video game, and a direct-to-DVD sequel. Keeping with tradition, the Belgian-born actor once again strips completely nude to show off that chiseled body of his, and isn't afraid to poke fun at his strong French accent. And on the acting side of things, he's expectedly less than impressive. Silver, however, is perfectly evil and conniving as the time-tempering politician who wants to rule the world. And familiar character actor Bruce McGill is also great as a trusty temporal police chief, a role very similar to his guest appearance on Star Trek Voyager a few years later. Mia Sarah is featured as the wife, but spends more of her time wearing shoulder pads and looking confused than really contributing to the plot. On the plus side, Ferris Bueller's old girlfriend does go topless in one scene. Showing off his split kicks and martial arts skills, the title character attempts to put right which others made wrong, as the R-rated story remains interesting and entertaining throughout. Who sent you? Fifty thousand volts, mother. Have a nice day. <laughs> While the visual effects used to create time travel look like a hokey webcam effect, the rest of the production designs, costume, and art direction are pretty solid, bringing to life a well-imagined, if overly optimistic, version of the future. Plus, scenes where characters interact with older versions of themselves are decently convincing. The score from Mark Isham is typical 90s action fare, with bombastic overtones emphasizing the high-octane fistfights and gunplay. Sidestepping some plot holes and inconsistencies, the movie exits with a truly explosive bang, and should leave most audiences smiling. A familiar and flawed adventure that doesn't really have any morals or themes to impart, the picture is still very enjoyable on multiple viewings. Time Cop, intriguing premise around exciting action. Let's check out the YouTube comments now to see what you had to say about this movie. Our ratings for Time Cop, a 6 and a 7. Despite its sci-fi premise, you were critical of this film and rated it a good. As far as time travel movies go, this isn't one of the better ones. It is, however, a high watermark for JCBD, and I actually think it's cool. 